Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Game Reviews and more. This is FBS Junkie here coming to you guys with another gameplay commentary. Today we have a uh, Modern Warfare 2 gameplay free for all on Rust. And let me tell you something for a second, guys. It's real quick. I have a total of um, about 40 some days played in Modern Warfare 2 uh, across the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox. I have about 22 days played in both. And I play a lot of free-for-all and always have um, mainly because I used to play by myself all the time and um, you know I, I, I never wanted to play with a team because I I don't know that was just me I always just like to hop on games and just play by myself and then hop off you know I didn't want to have to drag a bunch of people along but that's changed now because I like to win but um anyways I played, I have about 40 some days played, and uh, I've only came across Rust and Free For All maybe 10 times. Now, that's just me. I've heard people say that they, um, they come across Rust like every other map, you know, and Free For All every other game, but I, in all 40 of those games played, I've probably only gotten a Free For All and Rust um, a total of like uh, 10 times. But this is a nice little gameplay. This is, I think, at 30 and 7 on Rust. And one of the key things on, on uh, small maps like this is not to run around like a headless chicken because you don't want to do that on any map, but especially small maps because everywhere you run is going to be someone who's going to shoot you in the back, knife you in the back, um, or, you know, noob tube you or whatever. So you just want to kind of not stay in one spot because you do that, you're going to get grenaded in noob tube. But find some cover and just, um, you know, move back and forth behind that cover and stuff so you're always surprising them um but yeah i just wanted to upload this video and kind of apologize for my last video that i uploaded um i'm not gonna take back anything i said in that last video on here it was about gun control but um i kind of got my facts a little mixed up and i went back and double looked um i had a friend who i'm going to punch in the lip now um he sent me the uh, the website to look all that stuff up, all that information that I got. Now I knew something was up because there's this. I mean, and that information for those of you guys that don't know, I had um, a video up on here, give me views and more that had to do with um, gun control, and I got a lot of my facts wrong from the UK, being in the UK type thing, because I was saying that there's more gun deaths in the UK. And they're not even allowed to own a gun blah 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 i got that totally totally it failed i mean i i went back and looked i'm like wow that was stupid because my friend you know told me to go there he he lives in the uk and so i got this information from him but obviously he doesn't know what he's talking about even though he lives there and uh if you're watching this i love you but you suck um but anyways so i just want to say that you know clarify a few things that my gun control video was strictly me saying that guns don't kill people people kill people and if somebody wants to kill you they're gonna find a way to kill you guns don't have any part of um you know any part in the killing deal it does make it easier but if someone wants to kill you they're gonna kill you that's just all there is to it um and what I was trying to get my point across is there's always going to be a way for someone to get their hands on a gun, no matter if the government wipes this, the, the state clean of guns. There's always going to be a gun floating around out there, and it's going to get in the hands of someone who doesn't need a gun and is going to end up killing, you know, shooting up, shooting up people and stuff like that. And then the people who did have guns for defense are left unarmed. So it's not a good thing to take away gun control. And people commented on that video saying, the whole point is to take guns away, period. That's never going to happen. You're never, ever, ever going to be able to take guns away, period. There's always going to be a black market. There's always going to be a way to smuggle guns. And if you do that, the freaking people will rule this place. All the freaking crooks will rule this place. And we're, we'll be left defenseless. We'll be being robbed, blind, and everything. But anyways, that's all I was trying to say. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.